What's good guys, today I'm going to share with you the top 5 most absurd and obscure titanic facts you've probably never heard of before. And yes, there's cats involved. Hey guys, it's Raf the Titanic Guy Abela here, and here on my channel we talk about titanic, disasters, and other historical events, so if you're weirdly obsessed with disasters, then consider subscribing and joining our titanic nerd community. Okay, so today I'm going to show you the top five weirdest, most obscure and absurd Titanic facts that I'm sure you've never heard of before. I mean, we all know the usual Titanic facts. These are, these are different. So I want to challenge you guys. Let's see how many of these facts you actually know. And then you let me know at the very end of the video how many you got. And if you stick around, you might get a bonus fact. I don't know. Okay, let's start off with fact number one. The Titanic was never christened. Okay, so for those that don't know, christening a ship is an old tradition. It's basically when somebody is naming a ship and the ship is being launched, they'll go and they'll smash a bottle of champagne on that ship to basically give it good luck and to send it off. This is a long-standing tradition. It's also a maritime superstition. And basically that superstition is that if a ship was not properly christened, it would be considered unlucky or if you tried to go and smash the, the bottle on the ship and it did not smash, that was also considered a bad omen, so unlucky. Now, the interesting fact is that Titanic was not christened. Now, why was Titanic not christened? I'm gonna give you two seconds to think about it. Okay, time's up. Uh, easy, actually. So the White Star Line, the company that owned the Titanic, did not christen any of its ships, so, the Olympic wasn't christened, Britannic wasn't christened, and of course, Titanic was not christened. And why didn't they christen their ships? They just didn't believe in the tradition, so they didn't do it for any of their ships. Now, it's interesting because a lot of people don't know that because in the famous Titanic movie, A Night to Remember from 1958, literally the whole movie kicks off with Titanic being christened. Now, we all know that that's historically incorrect, so a lot of people have assumed the Titanic was christened, but that was just inaccurately portrayed in the movie. But now you guys know. And if you ever watch the movie, which I highly recommend, you guys can be annoying and tell your friends, hey, look, Titanic was not christened. Because that's how I am whenever I watch any Titanic movie. Absurd fact number two, there were 12 dogs on the Titanic and three of them actually survived. So first class passengers were the only people who were allowed to bring pets onto the ship. So it's believed that there were around 12 dogs. They were all held in the kennel, which was located on F deck. And three of those dogs did indeed survive. Now, all the dogs that survived were very small dogs. Obviously, during the evacuation, they weren't letting any dogs on. They were prioritizing people, as they should. Although my mom would probably disagree. Actually, a lot of people would probably disagree. But all of the dogs that did, in fact, survive, they were snuck onto the lifeboats. They were either, you know, hidden in blankets or hidden in coats, and they weren't discovered until after the fact. So the three small dogs that survived were two Pomeranians and one Pekingese. Now, there's an interesting story with one of the passengers and her dog. So there was a passenger by the name of Anne Elizabeth Isham. Now, she had a Great Dane on the ship. And if you're not familiar with Great Danes, they're basically an enormous dog. It's basically a small horse, right? So she had a small horse on the Titanic. Now, she was offered a spot in one of the lifeboats and she was seated in the lifeboat, but she was told that she was not allowed to bring her dog on board. What she ended up doing was she stepped out of the boat and stayed up aboard the ship with her dog. And it's later believed that she was found, her body was found a couple days after the sinking and she was clutching her Great Dane. So she refused to part ways with her dog and she died on the ship. Now, another interesting story with the dogs is John Jacob Astor. So most of you know that John Jacob Astor was the richest man on board and he was traveling with his pregnant wife, Madeline, and their dog, Kitty. Yeah, the dog was named Kitty. Now, after JJ Astor ensured that Madeline was safe and sound in a lifeboat, it's believed that he went down to the kennels and released all the dogs so they wouldn't be trapped when the Titanic was going down. They even show this in a clip, actually in two clips, in Titanic where they show dogs running uh, on the deck and then they show John Jacob Astor talking with Benjamin Guggenheim saying that uh, Madeline asked him to go search for their dog Kitty. Unfortunately, Kitty, the dog, nor uh, John Jacob Astor survived the sinking. 
Now, there's actually another really strange fact involving animals coming up, uh, so stay tuned for that. Fact number three, there were eight workers that were killed during the building of Titanic. Now, back in the early 1910s, the labor laws were not what they were today, and the workplace was just, it was not really a safe place. People were dying a lot. Well, definitely more than they are today, right? Accidents do happen, of course, but yeah, it was, it was pretty rough doing manual labor. Now, according to Encyclopedia Titanica, there were eight Harlan and Wolf workers that were killed during the construction of the Titanic, and five of whom were actually identified. Now, in addition to the fatalities, there were 28 serious accidents and 218 minor accidents recorded by the firm. Okay, so let's take a look at some of these deaths. So we have a gentleman by the name of Sam Scott who uh, died on April 20th, 1910, he accidentally fell 23 feet from a ladder or staging while at work, a fracture of skull, and he died instantly. Another death, John Kelly accidentally fell from ship 401, which was Titanic. Uh, he died from shock following his inju injuries. We have William Billy Clark, who died on November 7th, 1910, and he died from bronchopneumonia two days after falling from staging. Another gentleman by the name of James Dobbin, and he was actually crushed by timber when Titanic was being launched on May 31st, 1911. And then we have Robert James Bob Murphy, who was a rivet counter. He died from shock following compound fracture of skull resulting from an accidental fall on 13th of June, 1911. So lots of falls, lots of trauma, uh, lots of death, quite unfortunate. Fact number four, Titanic's wireless machine was actually broken. So let me explain. So we all know Titanic had two wireless operators. Their names were Jack Phillips and Harold Bride. They were 25 and 22 years old, respectively. Now, during the voyage, the wireless machines, which were essentially the radios, that's how they communicated to other ships using Morse code, uh, it had a mechanical issue, which basically decreased the power. Now, the wireless machines, the way that they would work, they would generate power, and the more power they had, the stronger the signal. So if it lost power, their range to be able to communicate with other ships decreased significantly. So leading up to the sinking, there was a problem and they couldn't really communicate with a lot of ships. Now, here's where it gets interesting. The official Marconi manual states that in a scenario where there is a mechanical issue, the wireless operators are not to touch the machine. They are to wait for an actual technician for Marconi to fix the machines themselves. However, Jack Phillips and Harold Bride did not want to do that. They were kind of like the whiz kids of the day. They were like the hackers. They were into gadgets and everything. So they decided that they were going to try to fix a machine themselves. So Jack Phillips, the night of April 13th, that was Saturday, he actually stayed up all night. He didn't sleep during his assigned time and he ended up fixing that wireless machine. So on the afternoon of April 14th, Sunday, April 14th, uh, the machine was working back to normal. And we all know what happened just a few hours later. Titanic hit the iceberg, began to sink, and the wireless operators were able to reach a Carpathia. Now, had the machine not been fixed, it's very doubtful that the Titanic would have had enough signal strength to actually reach the Carpathia. So it's entirely probable that a lot more people would have died had Jack Phillips not stayed up all night. Unfortunately, Jack Phillips did not survive the sinking. It's believed that the poor guy was on like 36 hours of no sleep. He did make it to collapsible B, but he just succumbed from, he was just exhausted. But true hero, he really ended up saving a lot of people. And finally, absurd fact number five, Titanic had an official mascot and the mascot was a cat named Jenny. <laughs> okay, so basically, uh, yes, the ship did have an official cat named Jenny. Uh, Jenny was kept on board Titanic as a mascot. Basically, Jenny was there to control the rat population. Back then, steamships tended to have a lot of rats, so Jenny was there to basically eat all of the rats. Now, Jenny was on Titanic's sister ship, the Olympic, and then she was moved over to Titanic. It's believed that she just hung around, you know, by Titanic's galleys, the kitchen, uh, looking for scraps, eating, just chilling there. <laughs> Now, many people ask, what exactly happened to Jenny? Was Jenny on the Titanic when Titanic sank? No, Jenny was not on Titanic. The story goes, and I mean, it's just a story, that Jenny had given birth to her kittens, and Jenny, being a cat, had some sort of sixth sense, and she was last seen in Southampton 
taking her kittens off the Titanic one by one. Now, it's believed that there was a stoker who saw this. I believe his name was uh, Mulholland. It's believed that the stoker Mulholland saw this. He, he saw the cat taking, you know, the kittens off the Titanic and he, he realized, okay, this is kind of a bad omen. This is not a good sign. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go with my gut and I'm going to follow the cat. And apparently he also went off the Titanic and survived. See, I don't really trust cats because I think cats are selfish, but that's why I believe the story because cats are selfish. They know what's going on. And yeah, Viola Jessup, who was a famous Titanic survivor, even talked about this in her account afterwards of seeing Jenny the Cat. And they even made a book about Jenny the Cat, which you can purchase today. I've never read it, but if anyone's read it, let me know if it's, uh, if it's any good. So there you go, Titanic nerds. Those were five absurd and obscure Titanic facts that you probably didn't know. How many did you guys get? Did I surprise you guys? <laughs> Let me know down in the comments. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you guys have been staring at this really super cool sweater that I've been wearing this whole time, you guys can actually get your own White Star Line crew neck. You guys just go to my merch store, which is titanicguy.com. You can also get this amazing mug that I designed myself. So just, you know, cop that merch, titanicguy.com. And if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed the Titanic content, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, give it a like, and subscribe to the channel and join our community of Titanic nerds. And just for subscribing, I know you just went and subscribed, I'm going to give you a bonus fact. Oh yeah, you get a bonus fact. See, that's what happens when you subscribe. So here's your bonus fact. How much booze do you think was on the Titanic? I'm going to tell you right now. So there were 15,000 bottles of ale, 1,000 bottles of wine, and 850 bottles of liquor. That is a lot of booze. Charles Jugan the Baker would have had a field day with that one. Also, you can follow me on my Instagram and TikTok account right over here. That's Raf underscore Avila. I post a lot of TikToks about Titanic stuff. So yeah, go check me out over there. Go say hi. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.